Often within the great debate, 1 Timothy 2.4 comes up. It always comes up as a proof text in favor of Arminianism. It says, who desires all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. I could explain again the explanations that Arminians reject, that it's all people in the sense of categories of people, every tribe, tongue, people, and nation. Not only poor people, but also rich people. Not only Jews, but also Greeks. Not only men, but also women. I can't explain this again, but it would be purposeless because they reject this explanation. Rejecting it in favor of their emotions, might I add. And so, with not only this explanation, but also another one, let us first look at the text again. And so, as is necessary with the context, and also within Calvinism, all people must be interpreted as all categories of people, and not every single person to ever live. It says, to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. This is what God would be desiring for all people to be, meaning all categories of people. What seems to be described by non-Calvinists is that God is just waiting for a person to suddenly come to the knowledge of the truth. Within Arminianism, I'm not sure how they think a person comes to the knowledge of the truth, but let us go to another text that shows how a person does come to the knowledge of the truth. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. It's God himself who gives the knowledge of the truth. So often I see in Arminianism, they portray Christ as just begging people to believe in him, just begging to come to the knowledge of him. But the reason anyone comes to the knowledge of Christ is because God gives it to them. So I must ask my non-reformed friends, if God wants all people to come to the knowledge of the truth, meaning every single person to ever live, then how come it says in Ephesians 1 that it is God himself who gives the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of Christ Jesus? The reason not all come to the knowledge of the truth is not because some are more spiritually sensitive or smarter. The reason some do not come to the knowledge of the truth is because God does not give the spirit of wisdom to every single person to ever live. Just as it says in scripture, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion.